Hello and welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. Today is, uh, it's okay outside, it's not bad. It's a little bit overcast, a little bit cloudy. Some sun was shining through right over there. And uh, I'm on Crown Land right now. I'm just uh, out here for the day. I was cooked up a steak. I just had my steak. I cooked it up on my Bush Box LF. Uh, the steak could have been better. It was a little peppery. It was one of those pre-marinated steaks that I picked up at the at the butcher. So steak could have been better, but still, well worth the trip coming out here to roast her up. So I got this. There's this like rock, big rock slab right here that's just like propped up like a table. I'm actually sitting on a wooden bench that somebody left out here. So. <clears throat> Today's video is in regards to a knife that I got a couple of weeks ago. I got it from a guy named uh, Zachary Galt um, from Primitive Living. Uh, check him out. I'm on Instagram as well as YouTube. And this is the knife in particular here. Pretty cool. Uh, leather sheath is just a beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork. Honestly, here I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make some room here. I'm gonna lay this down. So. <sighs> All right, so there's the knife and a sheath. Uh, this is from Flinders Adventures. Um, this is the, uh, I believe, the Tribal Chopper knife. It's a one-of-a-kind knife. I know that for sure because not only did Zachary Galt, the guy I got it from, tell me so, but I actually was in contact with uh, Flinders Adventures last night on Instagram, and he told me the same thing, that this is, in fact, one-of-a-kind. When I got the knife, it did not have this wrapping on it. I added that later. I'll explain to the I'll explain the reasons being what for. But just start off with a leather sheath by itself. Look at that. It's just like a piece of artwork. Like it's just so really nice. And uh, <clears throat> of course, you got your typical belt loop there. Nice stitching on there. So of course, the uh, you can tell this loop is not going to come loose on you. It's not going to fly off, and uh, you're going to lose your knife or nothing like that. Right now, with the wrapping, it's got. A, Nice snug fit in there, so it's not going to jump out on you. Look at that. Look at that beauty. So, like I said, a bit of a shout out to Flinders Adventures. There's actually two uh, Instagram channels with him. Uh, there's Flinders Adventures, which is him uh, featured in his adventures. And then there's Flinders Adventures Knives, which is basically just the knives portion of it. Although I have not personally seen this particular knife on his Instagram, but it's still like, well, look at it. Like, look at it. It's awesome. It looks beautiful. Um, I was told it's not a wooden handle. It's some made of something else, but you can't really see it right now because I do have the wrapping on there. And the reason being is because of the fact that I found out after doing some work, my hands, you see all my hands are actually dirty from the sap and stuff, but uh, on previous occasions while using this, I've been finding that the, the handle is very, very smooth and it I got no grip on it, so I added this just uh, two days ago. This is sort of like a leather uh, type of string that I found at Michael's Arts and Crafts store. And I just wrapped it around and tied it off. So you can see right through there, there's the string coming through all the way up and around to, uh, the end of the there, and I just, you know, cinched it down and such. So, um, you know what, I think I got... The I'm pretty sure I still have the label in my backpack. Let me take a quick look. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, is that uh, I found some times where it was like uh, really smooth and it was just very, very difficult to, the new, to uh, maintain that nice firm grip. So I decided to uh, add that wrapping. And since I've added that wrapping a couple days ago, I've never had that same issue again. I got maximum grip on the knife. And uh, overall, the blade and the overall knife uh, length, I believe, is somewhere in the area of around 11 inches, I believe. I'm not 100% on that. I don't have a tape measure handy. The blade is roughly around 6, 7 inches long. And, oh, I just found the label. So this is the label. I tore off the bottom, which was the price that the guy sold it to me to. That's private information. But this is the label that it came with. So that's Flinders Adventure Knives. This is the Tribal Chopper. O1 tool steel, Scandinavian grind, uh, walnut burl scales with hard stitch sheath. So that is a nice hard stitch sheath right there, definitely for sure. It is very, 
Like, I'm honestly, I don't know much about my leathers and doing stitching and stuff, but that looks like a pretty good stitch job. Ew. Got some dirt on the end of there from when I was sitting down in the mud earlier, so I'll have to give that a little wipe down. But, uh, you know what, I'll probably uh, do with what I did with my uh, Mora Garberg knife, which was uh, put a little duct tape covering the stitching, so that way the stitching doesn't come loose and it protects it as well. So... Likely is when I go home, I'll do the same thing with this blade because, you know, this is a beautiful sheath and I don't want to ruin it. So when it's on my belt, I'm sitting down on the ground, you know, actually I was sitting right over there just earlier and uh, it was rubbing against the uh, rock. So I don't want to be in a position of where all the stitching here comes loose. I can see actually some of it's dirt and some of it's actually fraying out a little bit. So I want to minimalize that as much as possible. I don't want to get that ruined. I don't want to restitch it myself or anything like that. I have the tools to do it, but I don't want to. Oh crap. So there's a noise in the background. I thought it was a bear or something. So I am in Crown Land and I actually just realized it was something much, much smaller. Scared the crap out of me for a second there. Anyway, so the blade length is roughly about uh, six, seven inches long. Uh, when I first got it, it was sharp, but I took a sharpening stone, my Lansky sharpening stone to it, and gave it a really, really nice sharp edge, and really nice toned in. And just, just look at that. Like, it, as you can see the back edge here, it's like a little bit silver while in comparison to the rest of the color. That's because I actually took a file to the back edge, so that way this back edge is a little bit more sharper. That way I can use it with a ferro rod. I was able to use a ferro rod with it, but I wasn't really able to get that, you know, nice shower of sparks uh, that I wanted. So I shave this back end a little bit. Now I get a good, nice shower of sparks by comparison. So let me see if I can, you know, show what I mean with the, uh, with the ferro rod. Because I do have my ferro rod here with me. Of course, always it's attached to my belt, you know. Obviously, I'm not uh, lighting anything at the moment, but, you know. You know, by comparison to what it was before, you know, I only get maybe about a quarter of that. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, so I only get a quarter of those sparks by comparison. And uh, now I get a lot more by comparison. So whenever I... Do that up, you know, I just give a little wipe off of my pants. These are my hiking pants, so it doesn't bother me to get them dirty. So, like I said, uh, this came from Flinders Adventures, um, but I bought I bought this off of uh, Zachary Galt from uh, Primitive Living. Sorry, Primitive Living. And... Uh, both, uh, I met Zachary Galt, uh, for those of you who don't know who Zachary Galt is, he is, um, uh, I think he was on season three of Alone, I believe it was, he unfortunately had to, uh, tap out due to an accident that he had, I can't remember all the specific details, but, uh, that's basically what happened, um, but I met him a couple, about two, three years ago. I met the guy at a camp and a uh, really, really nice guy I talked to. He was teaching about uh, bow drills. And I met him again about two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago at uh, another event and similar event, different. But, uh, and I got to talk to him again and really, really nice, friendly guy. He doesn't use Facebook though. Otherwise, I'd definitely be in contact with him. And, uh, I contact him on Instagram because he is on Instagram and I thanked him for the knife and told him it was really great. So, anyways, this is uh, Green Hat Red Beard Adventures and I thought I'd give you guys this little, uh, little shout out video and uh, thanks to Flinders Adventures as well as uh, Zachary Galt for this knife. It is really awesome. I love it. Thank you. <laughs>